There we go, Justin, fish on. Now that did not take long. <laughs> hey, welcome back to this week's Midwest Outdoors. We're doing a little trolling on Mille Lacs Lake. You know, Mille Lacs is one of those lakes that you can do a lot of things to put a lot of fish in the boat quickly. Literally just got to this spot, got set in. I said, man, we're seeing a lot of fish and boom, fish on. Ooh, a beauty. That's a great one to start on, man. Oh, nice looking fish. That's a great way to start the day, I'll tell you that. I'll take ones like that all day, Tone. Let's get some more. Another one on blue chrome, and that's that's the key thing to, you know, patterning any style of fishing is, is just figuring out what they're going on, obviously, but, you know, trolling in particular, the fun part to me is, is figuring out what speed, what direction, kind of what area of the lake they're on, and then, of course, just mixing matching colors. It's number two on blue chrome, so I know I'm putting another blue chrome on. <laughs> oh, man. Right there, Justin. Oh, there you go. Now there's a Mille Lacs giant right there. That's a good fish, That Tony. is a beauty. Oh, good fish. That's gotta be an eight pounder right there. <laughs> nice work. You can go to a lot of places and catch fish, but can you catch fish like this? This is why people come to Mille Lacs. When it comes to lead core trolling, I like to use a longer series rod. You know, this is an 8.6 Icon from St. Croix. Something that's gonna load up really nice, you know, when you're trolling at two miles an hour. When those fish hit that bait, you want something that's gonna really load up rather than something that's a little stiffer. You know, and as far as a reel, I've just got a, a basic line counting reel, something that's gonna hold line capacity. I like to be able to fit six, seven, even 10 colors of lead depending on where I'm at, but I like to have that option of running out as much lead core as I can possibly use, you know. Um, lead core is really speed sensitive, so today, you know, we're trolling about two miles an hour at two miles an hour. We're getting about six and a half feet of diving depth per color. But if I increase my speed, let's say to two and a half or even three miles an hour, I'm getting about half that as far as diving depth. So it's really important to have that line capacity with the reel. And then of course, just the lead core itself, I'm using suffix lead core. I've got 18 pound lead core. That's the lead core I like to use. This is that 18 pound. And then just using a mono leader. Mille Lacs is pretty clear, so I've got about a 20 to 30 foot mono leader. A couple reasons that I like to use the mono. One is there's a little bit of stretch in that line. So again, it helps with that loading up factor. And number two, the mono just gets it away from the lead core a little bit. You know, like I said, it, it, it becomes kind of a, a line sensitive thing or um, line shyness sometimes with the fish, especially on these high sun days to, to go with that 10 pound mono. It's another good one. I mean, talk about a great pot of fish. And huh, we weren't lying when we were saying Mille Lacs is just one of those destinations. You catch lots of big fish. That's why I love fishing out here. It's, it's one of my favorite spots to go. I mean, there's lots of places you can go and catch walleyes. Not a lot of places you can go catch walleyes like this. Man, that sucker is digging. Finally getting to the leader here. There he comes. There we go. Boom, another one on blue chrome. <laughs> nice fish, Tone. <laughs> They're just fatties too, I mean, look at that. Just healthy looking fish. I don't think we've caught a fish under four pounds today. I mean, that's saying something. And we really haven't been out that long. We haven't worked a real big area. We've just been kind of trolling around right in this area. There's a big pot of fish out in the basin. Ooh. Now she's tugging. Now it's a big fish. Fish on, fish on. You know, we're trolling today, Tony, but Mille Lacs Lake, tomorrow we could be rigging, could be pulling spinners. Absolutely. You can catch fish any way you want. <laughs> There's another nice one. Good job, Justin. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I mean, you could fish any way you want to out here. There's really no wrong way to fish, and that's what makes this lake so much fun. Another beauty. Look at that one, Tone. <laughs> hey, so I'll take that any day. We might have to put another blue chrome down. What do you say, buddy? <laughs> I think so. All good trollers know that lake currents play a big factor in speed. You know, the wind really died here this afternoon, and uh, you know you'll you'll notice that we're going almost 0.3 miles an hour faster going this direction than we were that direction. We had a big blow for the last few days. Great Lakes captains deal with it all the time, but 
it happens on inland lakes too, so you really gotta watch your speed. So consciously I make an effort as soon as we swing around and make one of our turns that I've gotta slow down my trolling motor because I'm using my trolling motor as a drift sock to slow us down. Justin feels like a pretty good one. It's hard to tell with the board on there, but feels pretty nice. Digging, man, staying down there. We'll go Justin, it's coming up here. I can see the leader. Oh, he's barely hooked. Purple, baby. <laughs> oh, that was on the purple shad dancer. I like it. Oh, we've been having such good success with chrome and blue chrome. I figured that new purple shad dancer, that'd be the ticket. Man, Justin, I tell you what, this has been a really fun day fishing with you. You know, it's nice when you're uh, when you're trolling and you've got a, a boat partner that's catching them. You know, my biggest thing is just patterning those fish, and man, we did that for sure. We caught quite a few. It's what a fun day. For Justin Baldwin from Hunter's Point, I'm Tony Roach. Stay tuned for more Midwest Outdoors. <laughs>